It started as a peaceful protest by the opposition Socialist Party outside the Albanian Prime Minister's office. An estimated 20,000 people turned up calling on the government to resign over allegations of corruption and abuse of power. But after a scuffle between protesters and police, things took a dangerous turn. As the demonstrators threw sticks and rocks at police, officers pushed them back with tear gas, rubber bullets and a water cannon. Three protesters were killed and another 30 have been taken to hospital. 17 police officers also received hospital treatment, one of them in a critical condition. Police in riot gear took control afterwards of the main boulevard, beating some of the protesters to clear the area. President Bamir Topi has called for calm and maturity. His plea was echoed by the Socialist Party leader, Edi Rama, who's blamed police for provoking the protesters. The Socialist Party has called for new elections after refusing to accept the results of the June 2009 parliamentary polls. The party organised Friday's rally to ask for fresh polls and the resignation of the government. Prime Minister Sali Barisha has called the protest an opposition attempt to ferment a Tunisia-style uprising. In a joint statement, the Tirana missions of the European Union, the United States and the Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe deeply regretted the casualties and called for a compromise.